Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook. I'm k a c h a n g with j o c h i t And today we've got an exciting lineup of stories to share with you. First up, let's talk about the amazing Thailand Fest 2023 in Osaka, Japan. It was a, it was an absolute blast with the dazzling display of Thai culture, food, and art that left everyone in awe. And next, we've got some cutting edge tech talk. Ever heard of biotech and STDA? Well, they are on a mission to revolutionize the Thai aqua culture industry with algal biotechnology development. We'll be looking into how this breakthrough can boost sustainable farming practices and keep our oceans thriving. Thailand's innovation is also making waves internationally. We'll be celebrating as our homegrown talents scooped up four impressive awards at JDIE 2023 in Japan. And speaking of international collaboration, the Eastern Economic Corridor or EEC of Thailand. Has joined hands with the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, or GBA, to enhance strategic and investment cooperation. Our show begins after this. Starting off our show today, we have got some exciting news coming straight from Osaka, Japan, and where the Tourism Authority of Thailand hosted the amazing Thailand Fest 2023. And this three-day extravaganza was all about fun, culture, and showcasing the best of Thailand to the Japanese market. The festival had a vibrant and colorful Thai temple fair theme, perfectly aligning with the Visit Thailand Year 2023 Amazing New Chapters campaign. Was all about spreading happiness and showcasing the kingdom's soft power foundations, which includes food, film, festival, fight, and fashion. Attendees were treated to a delightful array of uh, cultural performances and activities, and truly represented the essence of Thailand. And from cultural shows on Songkran and Lai Gra Thong to Muay Thai martial arts performances and uh, Thai boxing shows, there was something for everyone to enjoy. At that event, and of course, the food zone was a big hit. Attendees got to savor the delicious flavors of Thai cuisine, and even witness a live demonstration of making the famous roti s a i m a i dish from the Michelin Bib Gourmand awarded shop in Ayutthaya. Very yummy. Also, film enthusiasts had their moment as well, with popular Thai actors making appearances on stage. And even live streaming on social media, fashion also took center stage as well with an exhibition on Thai costumes from different eras, and visitors had a chance to dress up in traditional Thai style attire uh, for some pictures perfect moments. Now the festival also celebrated traditional Thai arts and crafts with workshops on making b l a d a p i a n or Thai style wind mobiles shaped like fish, and the iconic g r a t o n g Used in the Lai Gra Thong Festival. All in all, the amazing Thailand Fest 2023 in Osaka was a smashing success, showcasing the best of Thailand's culture and charm to our friends in Japan. Show. This is Thailand Outlook. In our next story, let's talk about the uh, biotech and STDA and uh, their mission to boost the Thai aqua culture industry through algal biotechnology development. For over two decades, biotech and STDA has been leading the charge in algal research and development, all in the pursuit of sustainability for Thailand's aqua culture industry. And uh, they've got two awesome research teams working on this. 
the Fish and Trim Molecular Biology and Biotechnology Research Team, and the Biosciences and Systems Biology Research Team. Now, the Fish and Trim Team has been doing some impressive stuff. They have teamed up with the Faculty of Science at Mahidol University and created a super cool platform to、uh, bioengineer microalgae. And what does it mean? Well, they have found a way to produce antiviral double-stranded or RNA using these microalgae. And guess what? This DS RNA acts as a feed supplement for trim, providing them with viral protection. And this is a game changer, because it has reduced the mortality rate caused by the dreaded white spot disease by a whopping 70%. And this technology has got loads of potential for producing other beneficial biomolecules for trim and other aquatic animals. Now the team didn't really stop there. They have also developed an AI-based platform called Smart BioPep for bioactive peptide analysis.、Uh, they started this research with、uh, spirulina, but now they have expanded their exploration to include other types of algae. And the goal is to uncover their commercial potential and bring even more benefits to the aquaculture industry here in our country. Biotech and SCDA's team has been collaborating closely with some of Thailand's leading companies. They are diving deep into algal cultivation and extracting all the goodness from these algae to make a real impact on the industry. And this is all about boosting sustainability. And making a difference in Thailand's aquaculture industry. Next headline talks about Thai innovation taking center stage at JDIE 2023 event in Japan. Now, two mind-blowing innovations from the Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand, or EGAD, snagged not one, not two, but four awards at the prestigious expo. How awesome is that? The first innovation that brought home the gold medal. And the JDIE 2023 special award is called Fire Alarm Image Processing, and this genius system uses artificial intelligence or AI and a USB camera to、uh, detect small fires. It goes a step further by notifying mobile phones through the Line application and local sites via horn alarms in real time. It's also 60 times less expensive than traditional system. EGAD now plans to use this cutting-edge invention in their substations nationwide and other locations needing a fire alarm system. EGAD also scored a silver medal and a special award from the Indonesian Invention and Innovation Promotion Association, or INOPA, for their creation called Automatic Control System of the Performance Optimized Operation Mode for a GT26 gas turbine. And this smart system enhances the control of the、uh, GT26、uh, gas turbine at the North Bangkok power plants, making it more efficient and stable. It even saves as much as three million baht per year in scheduled maintenance costs for each unit. And this innovation can be applied to other power plants too, bringing even more benefits to the table. And、uh, very clearly, EGAD's dedication to research, innovation, and invention is truly making a difference in improving their operations and the lives of Thai people. Final story today: The Eastern Economic Corridor Office of Thailand, or EECO, is making big moves. The Secretary General of EECO led a delegation on a visit to Guangdong Province, People's Republic of China, and this aims to strengthen strategic linkages 
and boost investment in targeted industries within the Eastern Economic Corridor, or EEC, and also fosters collaboration between the EEC office and the Guangdong provincial government, and they mean serious business. This visit is also about implementing the joint statement between Thailand and China, uh, working towards building a Thailand-China community with a shared future. During the meeting, both sides discussed and expanded the scope of cooperation in a new memorandum of understanding or MOU between the ECC office and the Guangdong provincial governments. Now, this MOU is an extension of a previous one signed back in 2019. And here is some exciting news. The new MOU is expected to be officially signed at the second Guangdong Thailand High Level Cooperation Conference, or HLCC, later this year in November, or maybe December of 2023. Now, let's talk about the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area, or GBA. It's an economic powerhouse initiated by President Xi Jinping under the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI and uh, covering a significant economic area in uh, southern China, including Guangdong province, and uh, some major cities like Guangdong, Shenzhen, and more. The uh, GBA is a key platform connecting Guangdong and ASEAN. The GBA is home to 87 million people and generates a staggering GDP of more than 13 trillion yuan. And the industries thriving back here include electronics, um, automation, digital tech, biopharmaceuticals, electric vehicles, and also clean energy. Uh, this is a hotbed of innovation and development. So as the EEC of Thailand strengthens its strategic and investment cooperation with the GBA, exciting opportunities lie ahead for both regions. And that wraps up today's edition of Thailand Outlook. From the dazzling, amazing Thailand Fest 2023 in Osaka, where Thai culture and charm wow the crowns, to the groundbreaking work of Biotech and STDA in algal biotechnology, revolutionizing the Thai aqua culture industry, there's no shortage of innovation here in our country, Thailand. We also discussed the Thai innovation that shines brightly at JDIE 2023 event in Japan, bagging an impressive four awards. All homegrown talents are making waves on the international stage, and we couldn't be prouder. And last but not least, we're thrilled about the enhanced strategic and investment cooperation between the EEC of Thailand and the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. It's all about building connections and creating a bright future for both regions. And thank you for joining us today. Until next time, I'm Ke Chang with Top Tips. Swadi Krap. Outlook. Thailand's expanses of fields and farms have long been a defining feature of its culture and life. Now, agricultural tourism is opening the distinct world of Thai farms to visitors from across the globe. Agro-tourism experiences take visitors into authentic community lifestyles and connect them to the very essence of a destination. Thailand is home to an array of agro-tourism opportunities where visitors can spend time with locals, join in traditional farming, and discover harmony with nature. Thailand's government is transitioning policies, infrastructure, and agencies to support a digital economy as part of the effort to initiate a new chapter of Thailand with new opportunities and innovations. 
Seeing the potential that a digital economy has to better the lives of all ties and sustain the nation into the future, every necessary step is being taken so that Thailand may be equipped to thrive in the digital landscape. According to the UOB ASEAN SME Transformation Study 2022, 55% of Southeast Asian small and medium enterprises are optimistic about their business recovery following the pandemic. They recognize they must make changes to remain competitive. According to the bank, 50% of SMEs in Thailand are still concerned about the need to transform their business models, particularly in the areas of digitalization, sustainability, and customer engagement as a result of shifting consumer preferences. As part of its 2022 Smart Business Transformation Program, SBTP, UOB Thailand and the FinLab, the bank's Innovation Accelerator, assisted over 250 Thai SMEs with digital transformation. Positive outcomes included increased business efficiency, lower operating costs, improved organizational management, and increased readiness to integrate sustainability into their operations. Along with digitalization, this concept of sustainability is beginning to influence how more SMEs are thinking about their operations. As two-thirds of Thai SMEs, about 65% surveyed, indicated that sustainability is now an area of importance and concern to their businesses. As a result, since the launch of SBTP in 2019, UOB has assisted in equipping approximately 900 Thai SMEs with the necessary digital skills and tools to remain relevant and competitive. During the three-month program, they also learned how to incorporate sustainability into their strategy and were introduced to green finance alternatives for long-term success. The approaches taken, especially those pertaining to data management, address business challenges such as managing and analyzing data to better understand existing and new customers and improve digital marketing, and for optimizing business processes and cost management. SMEs in the 2022 Transformation Program reported increased productivity and customer engagement as a result of business process optimization, increased sales as a result of using digital marketing tools, and lower operational and marketing costs. They also improved business owners' and key decision makers' understanding and willingness to embrace sustainability throughout their organizations. The Smart Business Transformation Program is open to SME business operators or decision makers who are eager to explore new ideas, adopt technology, and invest in digital tools and can commit their time throughout the three-month program. Government offices, such as the Ministry of Interior, play particular and important roles in improving the situation of the southern border provinces of Thailand. Working to better the region through targeted projects based on their areas of responsibility. Looking toward the future, the Ministry of Interior stated it would focus on undoing poverty while bolstering security for people going about their daily lives in its mission to elevate the southern border provinces out of strife and disharmony. The Ministry operates a Southern Development Strategy Committee that looks into issues pertinent to improving the region's situation and benefiting all of its people. The body takes in views and information from groups that exist in provinces such as Yela, Patani, and Naratiwad, such as religious practitioners, so that they may synthesize remedies to issues. 
hearing from locals that poverty was a contributor to disunity and an obstacle to progress. The committee resolved to coordinate the work of relevant agencies within the Ministry of Interior, as well as the Southern Border Province's administrative center on the matter. The action followed the ministry declaring it would devote attention to all issues voiced by the people of the South and seek to solve problems. The Ministry of Interior's plan to reduce poverty encompasses helping Southerners to upgrade the production of agricultural products to settle land ownership issues and to enrich natural and cultural resources in the region. The ministry also resolved to improve the sense of security among Southerners, the second matter most referred to by locals. This is to be achieved through programs that connect security forces in the region with residents so that their presence is acknowledged and understood. Through ministry offices in the South, programs will be carried out in which security units may interact and forge ties with local communities, fortifying their sense of safety. By addressing the needs and desires of Southerners directly, the Ministry of Interior is building a solid foundation of trust towards the state, one that is also conducive to the development of the region in all dimensions. A devoted member of ASEAN, Talon has given importance to the areas highlighted for development by the association, from education, sports, art and culture, and communication to labor, youths, women's rights, poverty, natural disasters, and public health. Through both its own programs to participation in regional endeavors, Thailand is driving progress in the 15 matters deemed crucial by the ASEAN community. In 2015, the world community reaffirmed its commitment to sustainable development by endorsing the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. With this agenda, 193 member states pledge to ensure sustained and inclusive economic growth, social inclusion and environmental protection, and to do so in partnership and peace. The 2030 Agenda is universal, transformative, and rights-based. It's a highly ambitious plan of action for countries, the UN system, and all other actors. The Agenda is the most comprehensive blueprint to date for eliminating extreme poverty, reducing inequality, and protecting the planet. The plan of action goes beyond rhetoric and lays down a concrete call of action for people planet and prosperity. It encourages us to take bold and transformative steps which are now urgently needed to shift. Let us now look at these specifics. The 2030 Agenda recognizes that eradicating poverty in all of its forms and dimensions, including extreme poverty, is the greatest global challenge and a necessary condition for long-term development. The first sustainable development goal aims to end poverty in all its forms everywhere. The seven associated targets aim, among others, to eradicate extreme poverty for all people everywhere, reduce at least by half the proportion of men, women and children of all ages living in poverty, implement nationally appropriate social protection systems and measures for all, and by 2030, achieve substantial coverage of the poor and the vulnerable. Gender inequalities remain deeply ingrained in all societies. Women suffer from a lack of access to decent work and face occupational segregation and gender wage gaps. In many cases, they are denied access to basic education and health care, and they are victims of violence and discrimination. They are underrepresented in political and economic decision-making processes. UN Women was founded in 2010, 
with the goal of better addressing these challenges and identifying a single recognized driver to lead and coordinate UN activities on gender equality issues. The COVID-19 pandemic adds to the challenges, limiting billions of people's access to safe drinking water, sanitation, and hygiene services. Presently, the world needs to transform the way it manages its water resources and delivers water and sanitation services to billions of people. Urgent action is needed to overcome this global crisis, as it is affecting all countries around the world socially. Economically and environmentally, the Sustainable Development Goal Six on water and sanitation, ratified by the United Nations member states at the 2015 UN Summit as part of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, provides the blueprint for ensuring the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. In the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, member states express their commitment to protect the planet from degradation and take urgent action on climate change. The agenda also identifies, in paragraph 14, climate change as one of the greatest challenges of our time, and worries that its adverse impacts undermine the ability of all countries to achieve sustainable development. Rising global temperatures, rising sea levels, ocean acidification, and other climate change effects are having a significant impact on coastal areas and low-lying coastal countries. This is especially true for many least developed countries, or LDCs, and small island developing states (SIDs), as the survival of many societies and the planet's. Biological support systems are jeopardized. A place of history and tradition, Thailand has still made sure to be ready to deliver the most modern tourism experience, employing digital applications, online databases, and the latest in technological tools. Thailand's tourism brings innovation and modernity to travelers as they explore and discover the ancient treasures and long-standing communities of this kingdom. Thailand's tourism is enhanced by innovation and technology. Now, in a new era, after the challenges of past years, the government is seeking to start a new chapter of Thailand. One of new opportunities and innovation, applying the bio-circular green economy model, supporting cutting-edge industries, bolstering healthcare and medicine, and strengthening Thailand's soft power, the government is making Thailand's latest chapter one of possibility and prosperity for all in the kingdom. Corruption is a persistent challenge in many countries, including Thailand. To address this issue, the government has made improving the Corruption Perceptions Index, or CPI, score a top priority. To support these efforts, the cabinet has allocated budgets to the National Anti-Corruption Commission, or NACC, allowing the agency to lead the fight against all forms of corruption in Thailand. The efforts of the government and the NACC will lead to a future where corruption is not tolerated and everyone has a fair chance to succeed. Stop COVID-19. While wearing masks is recommended in the effort to stop the spread of COVID-19, proper mask wearing is also important. Wash your hands thoroughly before putting on a mask. Make sure it covers your mouth and nose entirely, with no gaps. Do not touch the mask while wearing it, and wash your hands if you do. Take off your mask by only touching the straps and never the front of the mask. Discard of single-use masks or damp masks immediately, and mark the bag or bin to protect others. You can help stop the spread of COVID-19. 